another edition of the Umoja Circle. My name is uh, Keith Smokey Johnson. And for those of you who are new to the show, what is the purpose of the Umoja Circle? Well, the Emoji Circle is an African-centered talk show where we correct errors where errors are found and introduce facts when it comes to information about who we are as people of African descent. And also, uh, for the last 25 years or so, I've always believed that in order to have a shift in consciousness, there must be a certain type of dialogue that uh, should be uh, expressed between uh, people, uh, thus the, the circle. For within the circle, uh, we speak our cultural truths. Uh, today, I'm going to have something that I think will be very interesting uh, and a topic that I don't think many of us really uh, take for granted, uh, 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 understand about who we are as people of African distress, uh, uh, of African descent. We have certain stresses that is unique to who we are, uh, I, I believe, uh, that comes out of enslavement, that comes out of uh, 246 years of that, uh, and another 100 years of Jim Crow segregation. Um, many of us are just currently talking about uh, dealing with the, the psychology of being black in America, you know, dealing with racism. And we tend to, when we talk about racism, we tend to go to our head. You know, we go to counseling, which is good, and I, I, I like that. But there's another aspect of the body that we tend to ignore. And that's what I'm going to be talking to my guests about. Uh, we we kind of ignore this, the part of us that is very important, but also is affected uh, for people of African descent. Uh, and, and the stresses that goes along with walking in America or in the world with, with, with these stresses, and that's our bodies. Our bodies listen to our minds, okay? And there's a lot of energy that's built up. Uh, there's a reason why we have heart issues and high blood pressure issues. There's an energy that is locked into us. Anybody who's watched videos of, say, of of black young black men being shot by police. Believe me, you might, your mind might be traumatized, but your body tenses up and is traumatized, and we carry that trauma with us and that energy. I, I came across this um, technique uh, uh, a little while back, and I just so happened to have a good friend of mine who is a practitioner of this technique called Reiki. Uh, I think I pronounced it correctly. Uh, her name is uh, Tracy Brooks. Uh, she's more than just a recce practitioner. She got her degree in psychology. She's also a poet, uh, an author, uh, a, a holistic doula, and, and uh, who is committed to the healing of people of African descent. And with that, I would like to welcome Sister Tracy Brooks to the Umoja Circle. Welcome, Tracy. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, you, you, you're, you're, you, you, you're the owner of um, a company that's called Earth Mother Healing, LLC. Correct. And, and, and also Ujima Administrative Support Group. Correct. Okay. Now, I'm looking at the name Earth Mother. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at it. There's a unique spelling that you yes. you have <laughs> yes. uh, with the word mother, yes. uh, and it's spelled from your perspective M U T T H E R. Could you yes. explain yes. Uh, to those who would come across mm -hmm. uh, the information that mm -hmm. uh, about you and uh, mm -hmm. see that? Yes. What does that mean? Okay. So uh, yes, I am Tracy Brooks and the owner of Earth Mother Healing M U T T H E R. Um, as I was growing up, uh, my parents were in the military. Uh, both my mother mm -hmm. and father were Air Force. And uh, at one point in time, they were stationed in Germany. And in German, Mut means little lady. Oh, okay. So my father called me Mutt all my life. Little lady, huh? M-U-T-T, yeah. Mutt. So when I began uh, this journey of uh, entrepreneurship and wanted to choose a name for my business, my, my teacher, my guide, my best friend, uh, James Johnson, used to call me Earth Mother. Wow. He called me Earth Mother. He said people were attracted to the nurturing energy that I had. And That's so true. 
I called the business Earth Mother Healing, but I included my biological father with Mutt. So that's how we have M-U-T-T-H-E-R. And in the ancient Egyptian yes. Um, yes. linguistics, yes. M-U-T is mm -hmm. uh, literally means mother, Mutt. Yes, that's And correct. that's a particular uh, a go goddess. Uh, yes, that's correct. And, 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 and do you know what's her purpose? Uh, yes, she's, she's like the Earth Mother. She, she yes, does like that. Mutt Nichir, Mother Nature. Okay. And so when I went to Kemet uh, in 2006 with Ashra Kwesi, mm -hmm. Amira Kwesi, yes, I yeah. saw the goddess Mutt, and I couldn't wait to get back to tell my father, Dad, there's a goddess Mutt. And an actual actual African connection. The whole name piece between uh, Babu Phil and my father, Earth Mother and Mutt, is all one. Mm. And so it's, it's uh, this whole idea of names revealing what your purpose is. And the connection to yes. it, whether you yes. didn't know that didn't know you it. didn't connect it at, at, at one point. Right. And that's a lot of a lot of times in our growth, mm -hmm. we come across certain things that um, are revealed to us, mm -hmm. but at the time we, we don't, know. Ha don't have a clue of, yes. of, 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 uh, of what happened. Yes. Now, let's go, let's stay on um, the younger you. Okay. Um, you went to San Francisco State Yes. Now, there, there was a point, I think we had a conversation many years ago, mm -hmm. and you said that was where you had this awakening about the knowledge you were working on, yes. uh, Western knowledge, mm -hmm. and you came across information about who we are as people of African descent yes. from you, uh, classes that you took, yes. and that put you on a trajectory that yes. brought you yes. To who you are and and uh, right now, and can you tell us about that uh, that yes. that experience. Yes. So, uh, San Francisco State University was the first uh, college in the United States uh, that established a, a school of ethnic studies, a Black Studies department. Oh, really? 1968. Oh. That's when it started. I wasn't at school then. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna tell any secrets. Though. Right. Right. <laughs> so uh, I arrived there my freshman year, 17 years old. And I was just looking for, uh, you know, classes to take. I was a psychology major. And the first class I saw on there said black psychology. And I'm thinking, okay, let me sign up for that. Mm. So the first day I go into the classroom and uh, the professor, I, I will never forget her name, Dr. Marcella Stewart, was talking about the class and, and what's going to happen and what we're going to be covering. And she says, uh, you know, black people were the first people on the earth. First and time you heard that. Immediately, my mind just like was like a mushroom. Boom! It was like an explosion. And I kind of casually looked behind me to see if anybody else was feeling or looking like they felt like I did because I had never heard of such a thing. And I thought, this lady's crazy. I'm a, a high school graduate. I never heard of black people being the first people on the earth. And I said, she's going to have to show me a book uh, that somebody white wrote for me to believe this. This is all going through my mind at 17. And so I said, well, I came back the next class and the class after that, and she started laying down the facts, as you talked about, facts. Mm -hmm. And I'm five foot five. By the time I got done with that class at 17, I was seven feet tall. Wow. Because the history had revealed to me. That, that, that opened up your consciousness yes, to a world that really you didn't know exist. Didn't know existed, and who I really uh, was and am, you know, as a person of African descent. Wow, and uh, I want to thank that professor because yes. the person that I know and sitting right yes. next to me now yes. is a brilliant scholar. She's a very modest woman. <laughs> I'm 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 gonna I'm tell you right now, she doesn't <laughs> <coughs> brag. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so people like me who have uh, venues like this mm -hmm. let the world know, and 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 we're lucky to have her here mm -hmm. in the San Antonio mm -hmm. uh, 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 region. And now her her new pathway. Uh, it's Reiki. Mm -hmm. uh, did I say it right? Reiki. Reiki. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and a Reiki practitioner. Mm -hmm. um, and I see, uh, you know, I started, my journey right now is taking me into the, the, the issues of trauma. I was turned on by a book that I read mm -hmm. in, uh, that came out like in 2006 by Sister uh, Dr. Joy DeGru, mm -hmm. and it's called Post Traumatic Slave Syndrome. Yes. Ever since I read that book, <clears throat> it like you, it set me in a different direction. Mm -hmm. When you know, that's why I say uh, through dialogue there's a shift in consciousness, yes. and my consciousness shift in a sense in which I still understand that uh, in 
this world that we live in, there we are conditioned to go to the head, mm -hmm. and it, you know, to, when we have issues, mm -hmm. if you don't taste it, smell it, or feel it, mm -hmm. it does not exist. But what she showed me is that, that as people of African descent, when we were enslaved for 246 years mm -hmm. and then had another 100 uh, years or more of apartheid, mm -hmm. there was a trauma that was consistently placed on us. And, and we carry that trauma mm -hmm. not only in our perceptions in our heads, mm -hmm. but in our bodies. Mm -hmm. There is an energy, mm -hmm. a tension mm -hmm. that uh, many of us don't, and we're not conditioned to even understand that we're, when we're, we're tense, we yes. think we're walking around in a normal way. And I kind of tie it into uh, what you're focused on, because you, 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 say, you say that you're, you're dealing, you're committed to the healings of African people. Yes. And, I, and I see, in a sense, uh, that Reiki um, practice mm -hmm. is... Uh, it helped. It, it focuses on, on the body, right? The energy of the body. Mm -hmm. Could you explain a little bit yes. more? Mm -hmm. So the body is um, has within it mm -hmm. uh, many chakras, but mm -hmm. there are seven major chakras. Mm -hmm. And the chakras are energy clusters that are in motion uh, within the body, emitting energy and absorbing energy. And uh, at any time, those chakras can be open or they can be blocked, blocked yeah. or stagnant. When the uh, chakras are stagnant, then there is not a free flow of energy moving through the body. And with these blockages, there is a mental manifestation, there can be a physical manifestation, there can be an emotional manifestation. Uh, they're all associated with an endocrine gland. And so, for instance, let's say uh, the solar plexus, mm -hmm. if it is blocked. The solar plexus is our seat of power. This is our drive. This is what helps the us core. get out and do the things that we yeah. want to do. Um, if that, that chakra is blocked, we could have a sense of powerlessness, feeling that we can't manage things. We don't have the motivation, the drive. And so with Reiki, uh, the practitioner, which I am, uh, will go in then through like touch therapy. It's kind of like what we used to see in the old black church, the laying of hands. Laying hands, okay. Yeah, see, we've been doing this. But it didn't have the cognitive yes, understanding. Yes, we've been doing this. Uh -huh. And so now we're just uh, opening the energy clusters so that there can be a free flow. And there with that comes a healing. Even in science today, they, they, they say that uh, a lot of the things that we learn growing up as children is through observation. It's not, it's not again, we think that we, we, we talk to our children and we use this verbiage, but our children also learn by observing how our body functions. Yes. Well, whether we lean into things, yes. you know, mm -hmm. or we are repelled by things. And as mm -hmm. people of African descent, mm -hmm. there is a lot of things that we unconsciously uh, give off through our bodies. Mm -hmm. And we, we intuitively learn that as children. Yes. You know, um, I, I did a, a, a big long word in psychology that addresses that. Mm -hmm. So uh, even though it seems metaphysical when we talk about energies and mm -hmm. chakra, mm -hmm. science is finally catching up to 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 the 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 spiritual aspect that's been known by ancient people, because this is not only an African thing; it's been Asia, all all, all over the planet, right? Yeah. Uh, Reiki? So Reiki itself is uh, Japanese. Japanese, yeah. However, um, on the walls uh, in the temples of Kemet, you can see the the energy. See, they're they're, they're doing the exact doing same hand yes. gestures. Yes, and there is a sister here in the United States, and uh, based out of Atlanta, who does Kemetic Reiki. Okay. And I would love to be trained by her at some point as well. But I, I want to say that the healing uh, that we're doing uh, through the Reiki mm -hmm. is not just Reiki. Uh, so as a holistic uh, practitioner, Got you. then I'm also using uh, sound therapy, uh, sometimes crystal therapy. Uh, we're using uh, words of power, which are people know them as uh, affirmations. And then I'm linking that with the understanding of what has happened to us as a people historically. Because what you're talking and that's about, what I, that's what yes. that's why you're here. Yes. That, that, so that. we have what we call genetic memory. Mm -hmm. So many of us, uh, obviously, those of us that are here now, we were not living during our enslavement, but these things were transmitted to us across time through genetic memory. 
or just through family history? Uh, uh, what you just said just reminded me of something, uh, 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 one of our great black psychologists, I'm sure you're familiar with him, Dr. Naeem Akbar. Mm -hmm. He said one time in a lecture that I heard that um, we all carried the minds of those who came before us. Yes. And, and, and what, he, what, he sa what he was saying that the psychology of a people mm -hmm. is passed down culturally mm -hmm. the same way uh, DNA is passed down biologically yes. from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. So uh, all that ties into it, that genetic memory mm -hmm. um, that, that we, that we uh, so when somebody, I've, come, I've talked to young brothers and sisters who, who, who said they can't even watch a movie like uh, 12 Years a Slave. Mm -hmm. it, 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 mm -hmm. it does something to yes. them when they see that. Yes. Now, they've they, they never been around right. enslavement, That's right. but just the fact that mm -hmm. they're seeing a, a rendition mm -hmm. of an enslaved world, mm -hmm. their body, before their mind, their body Response. reacts. Yes. Yeah, well, that, that goes back to the genetic memory. Mm. And, and something more to me uh, that, that triggers that response, that genetic memory, is when we have been watching our brothers and sisters being uh, shot down. Yes, yeah, exactly. So my recommendation to people, and I have not watched any of I've never seen any of those footages because I know that that causes a, a trauma within the body, within the mind, and within the spirit. Exactly. So one of my recommendations to people is don't watch it. Because if you look at it on the news, they do not show the killings and mass murders of other people. This is specifically for us. They're not putting uh -huh. that on the news. And so and they'll say, uh, please, if you have children in the room. See, they don't say that when they're showing us being murdered. It automatically this they, is Because this sure. is an okay in the system. So, um, so I'm just saying that to say that, yeah, we're, we're experiencing this trauma over and over, over and exactly, over. Exactly. And so in addition to the Reiki, um, I have a Stepping Into Womanhood uh, support, a guidance and support program. Okay, focus on um, the female? Yes, it's for women no. and for black women in particular. Especially black women. Women of African descent yeah. because we are carrying the weight of the world on us. I, g I got and, you. And not to discount what the brothers are carrying, but I'm an African woman. Oh, I agree. I'm a brother, yes. and yes. I, I, I believe that we have to focus on our sisters. Mm -hmm. I saw, again, I, 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 I've I been doing my study mm -hmm. uh, uh, eclectically okay. through the years. Uh, I read every day. I just read a book by... Um, uh, Honorable Ma uh, Marcus Garvey, okay. and it was a message to uh, his people that he said book. that we <laughs> we need to read every day. Yes. We need to uh, keep our mind focused yes. on who we are mm -hmm. daily, and that's what I've been doing yes. for 20, 30 yes. years. That's right. And the knowledge, because I know mm -hmm. uh, another great scholar, Amos Wilson, taught me that you have to have a principle. Yes that allowed you to approach the world, mm -hmm. and you got to have a way of allowing the world that approaches you. That's if right. you don't, you're susceptible to that overwhelming uh, aspect of the world. So that, that so what you're saying about the in tying into the, the, the long-term trauma of people of African descent, especially our black women, like mm -hmm. you said, mm -hmm. uh, um, I, I saw, I saw a, 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 a model that, that, that Tell me, like what you're saying, uh, how the sisters are at the at the bottom of of the the pressure. Mm -hmm. Imagine a diamond, and a diamond is formed under pressure. Mm -hmm. But this society it was built in a way in which at the top of the diamond is the white male. Mm -hmm. At the sides of the diamond is the white female and even black men. Mm -hmm. But at the bottom of the diamond, mm -hmm. dealing with all that pressure, mm -hmm. is our black women, and we don't address. Mm -hmm. that issue enough. Yeah. Well, I'm, I, I always say that black men and black women are under pressure. I, exactly. The I reason agree. I deal with black women particularly is because I am one. Yeah. So it yeah. doesn't mean that I don't work with black men. I, I love black you. men. Right. However, I know the experience. I of understand. African. Yeah. So in this point, what, what I'm doing in that program is really, I say that many times black women are in this world under a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. under a lot of stereotypes, mm -hmm. a lot of assumptions, uh, carrying out a lot of roles, and they're just being buried underneath the rubble of that. Agreed. And so in this this process, we lose ourselves. We become uh, people that are living our lives for others. And after a while, we get to a point where we're at a breaking point, or sometimes we're just later in life, and our children have left, and they've gone on to college or gotten married or what have you, and now we're What's trying to left? figure out 
who am I? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and that's what the program addresses. Finding self. Finding self and healing self in the process. Yeah. I call it unearthing. Wow. Mm -hmm. well, extend more on the unearthing. What, like, mm -hmm. f uh, a, a, a young sister, it doesn't matter the age. Is right. there a particular right. age group? No. You, there's there's, mm -hmm. there's black and, and, and female. Because uh, people don't understand that we have unique issues yes, we do. as a people. Yes. And somehow we have a another one of those blockages mm -hmm. when you hear when we have conversations mm -hmm. about black issues mm -hmm. we got to add you know we talk about black women yes. well we got to add the white woman right. or, no. or or nothing wrong with right. their issues but we have to again address yes. our unique issues here in America I think this is very important because I focus on our women because we don't have many times places that we can go a That's safe and sacred point. space exactly. to speak our personal truth as African women and because there's so many people out there that are trained to deal with everyone, we need someone that's trained to deal with us. Exactly. And so I deal with us in that regard. There, to me, it's talking about energy. I, I've learned that there are certain body, because uh, you see, I'm starting to focus on, that's a hard thing to do, because I've been so conditioned to, you know, as also being a Virgo, I'm always thinking. Mm. I see the world and I, mm -hmm. I, I and, and I uh, have concept, mm -hmm. and, and but that's totally different language than my body. Yeah. And I'm recognizing in my observation that um, there's an energy that reflect, um, there's action that reflect fear. Yes, oh yes. Yeah, I, I believe that, um, I learned it like, we go through two polarities. Mm -hmm. There's the energy of that, the action that reflect the energy of, of fear, and there's the action that reflect energies of love. Yes. I just use in human terms. Again, mm -hmm. words are the worst forms of, I always say, yes. of, of, of it. But those are the terms I use mm -hmm. for whatever that mystery is. Mm -hmm. And we always make our decisions based on those two mm -hmm. grounding ideas. Mm -hmm. You know, those are the thoughts behind the thoughts behind the thoughts. The frontal lobe, yeah. you know, is where we deal with our presence and now. Mm -hmm. But that, that subconscious mind that's in the back that's where everything in the mind mm -hmm. is is gathered yes and and and, and you react to that yes. and there's certain reactions you might not even know mm -hmm. frontal lobe wise mm -hmm. that that you're doing that mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. when you watch a mo one of those uh, videos like mm -hmm. you say mm -hmm. you don't see how tense your body is if right. you pay attention to your body yeah. well we're we're holistic beings so we're not just mind, One, exactly. we're not just spirit, we're not just body, we're all of that. And so when you're talking about holistic healing, holistic living, you you're addressing whole. all of that. And that's where I find uh, that I come in, because it's not just saying, hey, you got these chakras blocked, or hey, you got this trauma over here. That's in the mind. So, And it manifests in the body. Yeah. And so it now manifests. you have to get into some spiritual practices. You know, you I have agree. to do your prayer, you have to do your meditation, you have to live out the goodness. You have to get in touch with the creator that's inside of us. And the thing that you have to let people know is how to slow things down, right, yes. in order to do that. Mm -hmm. A practitioner mm -hmm. is, you know, we're taught this. Mm -hmm. You know, if it ain't immediate. Right. And, and, and one of the hardest things I know you have to do as a practitioner is get that your, your client to mm -hmm. slow down because that's how your body process. Yes. Well, the thing about it is, is that we're moving so much, and, and our women are just being called to do everything. So they're very pleased to sit down. It's just that it's reconditioning self to sit down. And that takes and, time. And that takes time. Exactly. So the program is a six-month program, actually. Now, that energy, like I said, of fear, when, when I notice people who are fear-based, that's how I deal with anybody I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. I don't tell them these things, but I'm observing these things. Mm -hmm. um, their actions, especially in relationships, and, and, um, uh, uh, they tend to contract. Uh, uh, close down or um, draw in, run, yes. they hide, hoard, yes. and they harm people. Mm -hmm. Any of those multiple ways you could express that yes. tells me that, that per the grounding idea is not love, it's that energy, that negative energy that you work with, mm -hmm. uh, whatever it's called, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's the energy that is producing those type of actions. If you if their energy is love based, mm -hmm. like after a couple of weeks of your, mm -hmm. and they learn to love themselves, then they open up. 
and expand yeah. and do all those other things that are that That's are true. That are now I will say it takes a little longer than a couple of weeks. I just you, I, know, I just guess because this, you know yeah. you got years of this and then we've got generations of this. So yeah. this is way deep down inside of us. And for the years that I have been working with African people and coming to see that we're all walking around in pain. Th- that's we that's pain. another point that I've learned. It's, a, it's an unspoken pain, but when you look at people and you say so and so is crazy, well so and so's in pain. There's a there's a cartoon that was done an animation called Kiriku and the Sorceress. It's a very good film. When I saw that film, it's for children, but there's a, a really the message. great message in there about yeah. pain and how pain has us to behave. And so the work that I'm doing is just addressing the pain, addressing the trauma, uh, addressing the, the, the buried self, that's what I'll say, the buried self, and just saying, let me remove this, let me remove that. And way down in here is the person that's just saying, if I could just stand, if I could just be. And that, and that's, and that's why I have you here because I see in what you're doing that that that's what we need. Mm-hmm. Um, um, this is nothing you will hear in Western dialogue mm-hmm. a lot, you know. Uh, and it's good to see that we have somebody here in San Antonio <clears throat> who is focused on that. Cause that's a rarity mm-hmm. to have somebody who understands, especially the women <clears throat> in this land. Uh, the, the stresses and the pressures, because even even psychologists or counselors, they're, they're, again, they are conditioned by Western ways of thinking. Yes. And they, 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 they're trying to fix you mm-hmm. at this level. Mm-hmm. And until you fix this, that, right. like you said, stand up. Yes. Uh, and I will say, work. I'm not a therapist. I call myself a life guide. You know, they have the word, the, the, the term life coach. I, I agree. I call myself a life guide. I'm not a therapist either, yeah. but you, but the, the, the most of the ancient people never went to to yeah. to Harvard or yeah. anything like that. Or so. Howard. Or Howard. <laughs> yeah. You know. So yeah, I just think that um, what we're really in need of is a, is a safe space, and the safest space that African be African people can be in is in the space that's created by other Africans. Thank you. Because yeah. you know, you know what what is the what's, what's on tune when you went to Kemet? I went there too. Yeah. Uh, on, the, on, on a lot of the tomb, they said, know thyself. Know thyself. You yes. can't have another group no. tell you no. who you are. No. You know, we all, uh, look, we, 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 this part of the program, part one, we're about to end. Okay. So we'll continue this in the next segment, good. part two, and yes. go deeper into our conversation. Now you see why mm-hmm. I have this sister here with me, along t- uh, alongside with me. Uh, like Anna Julia Cooper always said, there's not only a male side of truth, but there's a female side of truth. And if that aspect of truth is not heard, then you're only getting half a truth. And that's not good for the healing of the whole human being. So until next time, peace, hotep. Bye-bye.